Hey there guys and welcome back to Prototype. Let's go and do the next mission because I can't for the life of me remember what we did in the last episode. Yeah, let's just go. A network of detectors. If they can track me, they can track Dana. Yeah, I just remembered that we were doing something with the detectors in the last episode as well. Okay, so now they're placing those alarm things all over the place. And whip fist. Yeah, no need to whip out the hammer fist for... Ooh, triple kill. Nice. As you can see here, the whip fist is pretty much the best power you have. Although sometimes... Wait, that did reach. The range on that is amazing. Anyway, this mission is really kind of boring. Pretty much... Oh, uh, never mind. There is a web of intrigue target over there. And I will go and grab him. And why doesn't the whip fist have a ranged grab? I could have sworn it had that. Maybe it's an upgrade I haven't bought yet. Anyway, Edmund Harper, PhD, so this guy's a brainiac. It's 1964, right? The army built a town. It told people it's to test a self-sufficient base in case of a nuclear attack. They filled the town with a cross-section of ethnicities. Army families from all over. They told them it was progressive. They told them lots of things. And then something happened that was to test their faith. I don't exactly see what that has to do with the main plot, but maybe we'll learn more about that later. Anyway, next detector. Yeah, it has to suck to be one of those soldiers. You're standing there, minding your own goddamn business. And freaking Alex Mercer comes flying in from above and just kills you in two seconds. I mean, that's one of the things I like about this game, the combat and the powers you have. You just make everything so cool. Like you can literally just drop in without any of these guys having any idea and just kill them all in like two seconds. With the whip fist at least. Because that thing has amazing range. Maybe the hammer fist as well, because that has good area of effect. And maybe the final power that we don't have yet as well. And there we go. Alright, I can talk about that power, because we've already used it in episode 1, it's blade. You know, where his arm turns into a big ass sword. Okay, we need to destroy 10 of those detectors, and we have 3... So, Karate Kick, which does barely anything. Okay, don't use the Karate Kick on those things anymore. And Whip Fists. Oh, damn it. The hell's he shooting me with? Some sort of explosive. Damn it, I could have sworn I had him. I guess he managed to fire off one last round before being impaled on my extremely long tentacle arm. And I did the Karate Kick again. Wrong button. It's triangle, not square, damn it. Oh, chopper. Oh, and another chopper. And, damn it. Is that a third chopper? They really want me dead. But they should know by now that helicopters don't do a damn thing against me. They're just easy kills. And run through the burning wreckage just because I can. Alright, next one is over up there. And jump up. Die, 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 die. Yeah, just kind of going through the motions here. I'm bored with this mission already. It's like, yeah, I've destroyed a bunch of detectors, but I'm only barely halfway there. It's just too much. I mean, this game, is, well, it's a decent game. I would even go as far as to call it good. It's not great. And hey, Flare Rogue is now offline. Don't know who that is. Although we do think he's not in my PS3 friend list anymore. And I didn't delete him, so I guess he deleted me. How dare someone delete me from their PS3 friend list? I take offense to that. I greatly take offense to that. Oh hey, it's one of those monster things. Where did he come from? What's he doing here? I don't know, I'm just going to eat his brains now. Nom 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 nom. 
Tastes like chicken. And chopper go down. Really too easy to kill those. This one fully charged whip fist blow and down they go. Either Alex is amazingly strong, or the choppers are made of cardboard. Whoa! Going in the crossfire there. Uh, I wanted to take that guy's rocket launcher. Why didn't I do that back when I recorded this? Hell, I have no clue when I even recorded this. Although I do believe this game has been sitting on my hard drive for freaking forever. Uh, let's see, which other games have been on my hard drive for ages? I think I still have a Metroid Other M playthrough on my hard drive that I recorded like three years ago. I know, no way, I deleted that because it, it wasn't recorded in the right screen format anymore. I'm doing full screen stuff now. Damn it, walls in my way. Oh well. Oh, hey, there he is. Whoa, that was weird. Something hit me when my arm was all stretchy and it went kind of wonky. And I'll kill you. Now I need to kill this thing. Again, nope. Aw, oh, man, I wanted to consume him. Damn you, Chopper. You may go and crash and die in a fire for that. Alright, what do we have up here? People with rocket launchers and measly guns. And done. Do I need to kill the people too? Oh, I guess I don't need to kill the people as well. Sweet. Ooh, cutscene. Bet it's gonna be from the guy in charge again. Tech building in Midtown Manhattan. What was initially thought to be a chemical spill was actually a biological attack on the city. Authorities have named Dr. Alex Mercer as the chief suspect. Sir? At ease, Captain. Director McMullen, share your data with the Captain. Perhaps it will help him complete his mission. Mercer, uh, Zeus, rebuilds on a cellular level. A shapeshifter. We've used the DNA sample you recovered to synthesize a pathogen. Inside Zeus, the pathogen will generate a possible cure. Do you understand your mission? I'm to inject the weapon into the target, Zeus, and bring him in. Sir, with respect. All indications are that- Mercer isn't a he, it's an it! I will debrief you when you complete your mission. Dismissed. The captain always did have difficulty seeing the bigger picture. Did that folder say nuclear weapons? Ah, oh boy. They're gonna nuke Alex, aren't they? Hey, where'd my whip fist go? I did not unequip that. Can't destroy Chopper without the whip fist. Anyway, that guy, the Captain... what's his name? Got something... a cure for the virus, so to speak, that he needs to inject Alex with. Yeah, I'd say good luck with that. Unless he's got like a tranquilizer dart gun or something, I don't see that working out for him all that well. Also, the part about bringing Alex in. And hey, Poning Monkey 11 is now online. Again, I have no idea who that is. I don't know who most of the people on my PS3 friends list are. I know I have my little brother on there, I have Prince Boo 21 on there. Uh, some people I, I know that are... At least some of you... Whoa! Missile from out of nowhere. Some of you who post comments on my videos a lot, and you pretty much use the same username on YouTube and on PlayStation. Like, 97 Ryman, I think. And, uh, some other people. But I really have no idea who most of the people in my friends list are. I guess they just... are fans of... Uh, are fans from YouTube, I guess. Who use different usernames on PlayStation and YouTube, so I don't know who the hell they are. And uh, buy some upgrades. I think I will... Long range throw. Could be useful. Let's buy that. And what else do we have? Consume boost, hijack vehicle, yada yada. That's enough for now. Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna show off some of the events because I really can't, uh... This would be a 10 minute episode otherwise, and that is just bad.
Gotta give you guys something that's worth watching. Or at least long enough so that you think it's worth watching. Now let's go and do that, the military consume event. Because it means it has lots of consuming in it. And consuming is fun because we can watch people go splat. And then watch Alex watch their memories, I guess. But first need to recover some health, so screw you pedestrians and that car who just happened to be in my way. And I wanted to pick up a pedestrian, even though there wasn't really any nearby. But that doesn't matter. Health is full. Time to get to the event. It's probably in a military base though, so I'm gonna try and keep a low profile here. Just take to the rooftops, like Spider-Man. This game does kind of remind me of a Spider-Man game, actually. Oh, another Web of Intrigue target. I will kill you and eat your memories like tomato soup. That's a really strange... Oh, it's a soldier. All right, soldier. Who are you and what do you know? Lieutenant Nathan Talbot. All right, Nathan. What do you know? I'm on a curtain of men and armor up the moment the call comes in. Overflights on the rivers are ready to pick off ships trying to cross. The bridges are wired and blocked by armor. Once we're primed, nothing unsanctioned gets on or off the island. Okay, basically that the island of Manhattan is on complete lockdown, which we pretty much already knew. And disguise as Nathan Talbot. So they lose me and we can go to the event. Whoa, backflip. Kind of a an ill-timed backflip. But whatever, I'll get back up the building instantly anyway. Alright. Ooh. Sorry about the tree. If that was in someone's backyard or something. Don't think so. This looks like a park. Ooh, look, he's standing on that thing. Merry-go-round. I don't know what that thing's called. In English, at least. I don't even think I know what it's called in my own language. Can't say I've ever seen one of those around. Anyway, this kind of event gives you a time limit to consume three people. Not particularly hard, you have like one minute per person. So, here's the first one. Who are you? Looks like a military commander. Luke Dennard. Alright Luke, tell me what you know. Stole that shit, Corporal. Get her in the vehicle. You, rendezvous at 2200 at Bryan Park. Sir, keep your eyes open. There's a runner on the loose. Move, move! So the military took a woman. Um, if we take a look at all the female characters that we've encountered so far, it's either Dana or Alex's ex-girlfriend. And I'm not entirely sure how they caught either of those, because I'm pretty sure they were both safe in the safe house or something. Anyway, here's the next guy. Hi there, fella. He doesn't even have a clue. You are John Chen. Sounds Asian, but he doesn't look Asian. That's weird. What's the situation with Mercer? The subject is wanted in connection with treasonous activities against the United States and our allies. As of last night, Alex Mercer is the number one terrorist threat in the United States. What about Osama? This game came out in 2009. I'm pretty sure Osama was still at number one back then. So Osama has to be happy with second place, I guess, in the fictional universe that is Prototype. Oh well. But geez, Alex Mercer is a terrorist? That's... Kind of weird. Well, I guess he has been killing lots of military personnel and stuff, so... Sergeant Joseph Sorensen might be able to shed some light on this matter. Okay, that's New York. The target exhibits a classic low-effect personality. Psychopathic disregard for others, narcissistic worldview punctuated by self-obsessive disorders. Okay, now how about somebody repeat that in English? Pretty much means doesn't give a crap about other people and thinks very highly of himself. Kinda sounds like me. Sometimes. Then again, I'm pretty sure it sounds like everyone sometimes. Uh, okay, another... Oh, wait, that's the same mission. 
Let's see, I've done a military consume event. Let's go and do an infected consume event as well. I mean, hell, 15 minutes. This would have been a good enough video as it is, lengthwise at least. Can't guarantee that the content is always top-notch. But you know me. It either is or it either is absolutely not. Running, running, running. Jump. I still have my gun, even though I think it's empty. Oh, another web of intrigue target. Yeah, there's a lot of those scattered around the city. Hey there, guy. And a splat. Captain Emil Zerta. Alright, Emil. Hey, that's Chugga Conroy's name. This briefing is Class A1. The Federal Emergency Prosecution Act applies. This is the situation as we understand it. The virus is centering around structures in the city we've designated hives. The infected gather biological material at these strong points for unknown reasons, possibly to generate new strains of the outbreak. What we do know is this. The integrity of the building is stronger, but not immune to attack. A sustained attack of sufficient force on the hive should destroy it. Yeah, we know that already. We already busted one of those things. Okay, on to the infected consume event. But if it's going to be kind of the same as the military consume event, where they're going to be running around consuming infected people. But what would they know about the outbreak that the military doesn't? Hey there, guy. Ooh, and now your brains are in a three-foot radius around me. Oh, okay, we need to destroy a hive. Which is on the other frickin' side of town. No wonder they give you nearly four minutes to do it. It takes like two minutes to get there. Oh, no, I can see it in the background already. Alright. I hope there's gonna be plenty of, you know, tanks and stuff nearby, because otherwise we can't do a damn thing to the hive. I mean, if you remember, last time I took one of those things on, I was pounding on the roof with the hammer fists all day long, and it didn't do jack shit to the frickin' building. Yes, we know how to destroy a hive. We just had someone's memories about that, and we've already done it once. In a mandatory mission. Alright, here's the hive. Marine APC commander nearby, so I... Yep, there it, there's a tank. Damn it, I wanted that tank. I needed that tank. Any other tanks nearby? Not as far as I can see. Uh, what do I do? I need a tank. I really, really do. Damn it. Freaking monkey things. Uh, I think those are just regular. Yep, they're regular soldiers. No tanks whatsoever. This is going to be a problem. Hammer fists don't work. And there's those creepy hunter things on my ass. Uh, oh, I have a plan. Time for muscle mass. And there we go. It's not really great damage, but it's pretty much the only thing that's available to me. Ow. Freaking thing bitch slaps me. And yeah, I doubt karate kicking a building is going to do me very much good. Oh man, I wanted to consume him. Would have given me much more health back and that thing is kicking my ass. Damn it. Why do they keep killing them before I can consume them? Stupid. Wait, that he did get killed by a bazooka. I will take that bazooka, thank you. Second best thing if there's no tank around. Ah, oh, crap, and that jackass calling in a strike team and it's too late to stop him. Oh well. And Damn it, I didn't mean to throw him. I wanted to consume him. Wrong button. Jeez, I've been playing PlayStation for like 10 years and I still don't know my way around a PS2. 2 slash 3 controller because the layout is pretty much exactly the same. Kind of pathetic. And now there's a helicopter busting my ass. And I'm on a. Kind of running out of time. This could be a problem. Oh, tank. I want that tank. Damn it! Why do they keep doing that? Also, I am almost dead. Come here, you. I will rip you in half and nom on your insides. Don't need park benches. Can't throw those nearly hard enough. 
Damn it, this isn't going so well. No, I'm in to consume him. Not throw him. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. Crap, 26 seconds, I have to destroy the building. Come on, car. And go. Come on, another car. Damn it. They keep blowing up everything I'm trying to grab. Alright, car. No, not the worst of soldier. Crappy targeting system. Damn it, damn it, damn it. What'd I pick up? Didn't look like a car. Ah. Fuck. Okay, that was bad. I wasted too much time on... Looking for a tank, I guess. Should have just started chucking cars instantly. Oh well. I just need to get the hell out of there. Eat some people, get my health back up. And... Damn it. Way too many people around me. Helicopters. Whip fist. Later. Oh, another one. And... Wait, did he just crash into the building? Freaking stupid helicopter pilot. Okay, I'm in the clear. What am I gonna do now? Oh, not really that many casualties. Didn't really try that hard, I guess. Let's see, what do I want to buy? Consume boost. Yeah, that'd be great. And what else? I don't want thermal vision. Here I'll buy Street Sweeper. It is a great attack for the Whip Fist. I guess you'll see that in the next episode of Prototype. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.